What's up, you guys? Team Money back here with a new video. And today, the video's on, as you can see, the Marvel Legends Build a Figure Avengers Endgame Hulk. Finally, I have him. He is collected, gathered. But, yeah, I just, I have him. Finally. Oh, and this guy is awesome. But before we get too much into the figure, let's go on to his accessories. Okay, so for the head, he comes with this normal sort of relaxed head, I guess you can call it. He kind of looks a little sad um, in this head, but he doesn't, in my opinion, he doesn't too much. He looks, you know, pretty good. So yeah, but this does look just like the um, movie um, Professor Hulk. So yeah, you got the nice hair sculpt, and then the gray hair on the side. The um the paint on the lips is looking good. The photo real tech is amazing. I will say his forehead is a little big, but not too much. Um, and then he has a second head, which everybody loves this head for some reason, or not loves it, but likes it compared to that one, which I just. Don't, and I'll explain why right now. It's the smirking head. And I said smirking for a reason. Because it looks like he's smirking. He looks evil in this. Um, I mean, like, it's the eyebrows. It's really just eyebrows. Because they're, like, scrunched down like he's evil. Um, they're, like, going that way instead of, like, just normal. So, it makes him look evil. <laughs> But, I mean, the photo reel looks good. He doesn't look as much like, I feel like, the Professor Hulk as much as this one. But, yeah. And it's overall the same thing. But on the ear on this one, I have a little paint blemish. But, hair is all the same. And, yeah. So, if you guys were wondering, the heads came with Beta Ray Bill. The body came with Rescue. Um... The arm with the open hand came with Rock Python, I think is what it is. Um, or some member from the Serpent Society. Then this arm came with Union Jack. Um, then I'm pretty sure this leg came with Shuri. And then this leg came with Loki. So, yeah. But looking at the body, it's awesome. He looks nice, big, and bulky. Which is what I want from a Hulk figure. Um, but yeah, he has the chest hair there, looks nice. He also has his texture all throughout the body. So, that's great. Um, but yeah, this just looks awesome. The musculature looks really nice. Has its huge traps. The chest hair again, it looks realistic. I actually thought it was sculpted on until I looked really close at it, and it's not sculpted on. But yeah. And then for the arms, um, these are really nice. We have awesome articulation on them. The fist looks amazing. The wrist isn't too big, unlike the Age of Ultron one, where the wrist is just huge. Um, but yeah. Um, but I did have to do on this arm. There's a flap that was coming up here, and it made it where he could only move his arm up that much. It was just like a piece here, so I had to cut that off, and I sanded it a little bit, so that then it'll kind of bring the texture back out, but, you know, so yeah. Um, on the hand, this hand looks really cool, I wish he had interchangeable hands, but it's fine because he ha he's a build -a figure so I get why they couldn't do it. Um, also, people are complaining about this design, I'm not too much, but... I kind of am because they didn't give him a yelling head. I wish what they did is they gave him so obviously they wanted us to have a modern Hulk that was also a Professor Hulk, um, but something that was in his normal costume. They should have just gave him a interchangeable yelling head instead of this head, and then they gave him this head for the Professor Hulk, give him a yelling head for just a normal Hulk. I think people would be much more pleased by that, so that then they can see, oh, you can have it as the Avengers Endgame scene, and then they can also have it as Thor Ragnarok Hulk. So, I think that would have just been a smarter idea by Hasbro, 
But, you know, I'm not too fussed because um, Hasbro's probably just going to release another one. <laughs> um, or you can get that knockoff that's not too bad by ZD Toys. It's not much of a knockoff. But you can get that if you want to. You can get the SH Figure Warts, you know. I feel like they're, they're obviously going to release another one. And if they don't, then yeah. So, but anyways, the pants look really nice. They're kind of like a really dark, um, what, what should I call this? Gray. There you go. A gray. Almost a black, but when you get them in nice lighting, they are, like, a really dark gray. One gripe that I have about the pants is that they're super glossy. And I don't like that, because they pick up light more than this, which I don't like. Um, but it's fine overall. And then we have the rips in the pants that are awesome! This is actually how they were in Thor Ragnarok. Which is just amazing, because SH Figuarts didn't give us these type of pants. And these are amazingly sculpted. But yeah, the paint's not dead on on them. And if I can get, like, super close up. But you can see in some spots, the paint's not fully on to the sculpt. But it's not too bad. And then, you come down here, got the nice texturing on the skin. Nice, um... You know, like, muscles and stuff. But I will say, the feet are too small, in my opinion. Just comparing them to these feet, um, they're about the same length, but they're way, like, wider. And you can actually get these feet and put them on here with the same colors, um, or around the same colors from the, um, Walmart-exclusive Avengers, the 2012 Hulk. Just swap them, and there you go. But, they look pretty good. They look... Like, exactly like human feet, which is kind of weird. But yeah, but the feet too, being too small means it, like, V's down into the feet, which I don't like too much. But overall, it's fine. So now we're just going to get on to his amazing articulation. Okay, so for this guy's articulation, we're actually just going to move that out of the way. Um, his head doesn't move up too much. I wish it moved up more. He has a, um, one of these joints where the ball... Or, you know, a ball on it, a ball on a stick, plugs into the head, and then there's a ball down there. But it can't move because it's very tight, This the what the ball down there attaches to. But, um, it's, it actually moves up, though, compared to the other, uh, the other MCU Hulks from Marvel Legends. It moves down, but you get a gap. Side to side, and there's some pivot, so the head's not too great, but the arms actually can move up more than that to about there. Um, yeah, to about there. They rotate 360, um, bicep swivel, double joint elbows, which look way better than these, in my opinion. But the wrists move up, down, and side to side. Then the torso moves forward that much, and you can't see because of the hand. Forward that much, back that much, so really good, but you do get some gaps. Um, nothing too bad, though, and it rotates, and also the chest hair doesn't go up all the way into there. It's kind of annoying, but yeah, but it does rotate, and then pivots, and then it has a waist swivel, which is awesome. Yeah, I forgot to say, the waist swivel is kind of gappy. They didn't cut it straight, they cut it like weird but it's fine and then hulk can almost do the splits that is also just blowing my mind that the spider-man figures can't do that so yeah um but the legs move out that much rotate and we have double jointed knees but only move a little bit over a single joint knee then moves down that much at the foot up that much and ankle pivot. So let's get on to size comparisons. Here he is up next to the Avengers Age of Ultron Hulk, and wow, Hasbro's improved their Hulk so much. This figure is awesome, and it's way better compared to this figure. But if you guys were wondering, you could do a head swap, because I don't think this head is really that bad. I think it's actually the best, like, I'm gonna call him the Gorilla Hulk 
head that we have actually got, um, from, and what I mean by Gorilla Hulk is the, um, Avengers and Avengers Age of Ultron, but doing that, you know that the skin, the, um, green color isn't the same, but if you just plop it on there, it doesn't really work, because it's too small, <laughs> but you may be able to, if you want Angry Hulk, to work that in, but yeah, getting the bot, the heads back on these two figures, this figure is just not that good anymore. But yeah. But I also want to say, I do not have the SH figure works or the knockoff. Um, so, yeah, sorry guys. But, um, I wanted to get the knockoff because the SH figure works, 150 bucks. I'm a kid. I cannot pay that much and get it. Because... <laughs> Yeah, but now let's get on to the next size comparison, which I'll just do. You have this Hulk, which is actually, they're about the same height. So yeah, guys, um, I am going to end this video here because